Some people will grab shaitan and they want to basically get shaitan, you know, they want to kick the daylight out of him. You know, you know, if you could do that, you'd love that, right? Kick the daylight out of shaitan. But don't worry, you don't have to. If you want to really kick the daylight out of shaitan, there's, there's a good way. Just give the adhan. You think I'm joking? Give the adhan. You kick the daylight out of him. Just read the Quran, you kick the daylight out of him. You go and read Salah, he'll hate it. If you do khushu, if you do with, with good concert, he hates it. It's better than you grabbing him and actually punching the, the good bits out of him. <laughs> right. So people will look for shaitan, they'll find him. There he is. Iblis, khabis. <laughs> Grab hold of him. Yeah, let's, let's tear him apart. It's him. Him. So they'll come to him and they'll say, Iblis, eh, Mr. Big Man, the biggest of all big men, Mr. Big Man. You're the one who created, may led all of, the, all of us to Jahannam are going today because of you. He's going to say, you know, Iblis, Iblis is, uh, Iblis is crafty, but you're going to see how crafty is on the Day of Judgment. He's going to say this, Inna Allah wa'adakum wa'ada al-haqqi wa wa'adtukum fa'akhlaftukum Allah gave you a promise and I gave you a promise. Allah gave you the promise of the Quran and I gave you a promise of whispering into your minds and your hearts. Allah told you, you will get Jannah for this. I told you, don't worry about it. Just do it. Just do it. It's nice, man. It's nice. Enjoyable, man. Enjoy, boy. I said that to you. وَعَدْتُكُمْ فَأَخْلَفْتُكُمْ I gave you a whisper in your hearts and I promised you, don't worry. Don't worry about it. You didn't listen to Allah, but you listened to me. فَلَا تَلُومُونِي وَلُومُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ Who are you going to blame? You're going to blame me for leading you to Jahannam was you led yourself. You had the choice to believe the Rahman or the Shaitan and you chose the Shaitan over the Rahman. So don't come to me today telling me what I should do for you. مَا أَنَا بِمُصْرِخِكُمْ وَمَا أَنْتُمْ بِمُصْرِخِي you cannot save me today and I cannot save you today. I cannot come to your rescue today. You can't come to my rescue today. We're both here. We're both here in Jahannam. Basically what his motto is, now we're even Stephen. Because Shaitan wants that. He wants us to go to Jahannam. And you know a lot of people, you know, you know the biggest trick of Shaitan is? The biggest trick of Shaitan is, that you don't even feel that he exists. Allahu Akbar. You know, there's a lot of Muslims doing a lot of things. They don't even think about the shaitan. You know, if you think about your shaitan, he's on your back, he's your enemy. In this world, you think about it physically. I want you to think about it. Think about two things. Do, do a favor for me. Think about two things. Don't think about too much. Otherwise, you're going to go hula balloos, yeah? You know, you might get a bit cracked inside. You might say, yeah, yeah, I'm seeing this devil, man. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, don't think about it, but I just want you to put it in your mind, yeah? Think about it. Rasulullah has said, every person has one angel with them and has one devil with them. The angel tells you to do good things and the devil tells you to do bad things. So when you're in your life and you, hear, you want to do things and you make intentions, just think, which one was it? Was it the devil that just told me that? Or was it the angel that told me that? Just think about it. And when you're doing something bad, just, just imagine the shaitan's there and he's looking at you and he's going, <laughs> Or imagine yourself from the next life, you've just come back and you're looking at yourself. You've been given one chance, look at yourself. And he's, you're looking at yourself and you're, you want to kill yourself. Because what you're doing right now is going to end you up in Jahannam. Or imagine you're trying to do something good and you're, you're, you're finding it really tough to do it good. Imagine yourself, you came from the next world right here. And you look at it and say, please, please, man, just get it for Fajr, man. Come on, come on, please. Get it for Fajr, man. You don't know what you're going to get, man. Man, she's beautiful, bro. She's too beautiful to miss. This Fajr is going to get you the... Oh. You don't know what you're missing. You don't know what you're missing. And, and what did Allah say in the Holy Quran, subhanahu He said, فَلَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسٌ مَا أُخْفِيَ لَهُمْ مِّنْ قُرَّةِ أَعْيُنْ Allah said, the eye does not know what Al the beauties Allah has hidden from it. I does not. Now don't do the other extreme, okay? Don't sit in this world and think, man, Allah has talked about who they I wonder how they look. Let me turn my imagination on. Ooh. 
and you try and basically look at or you say I can't I can't let me oh that's a nice woman maybe well I've got to see her because I've got to try and see if, you, if, if the hoodies are more beautiful than her and don't don't go to that extreme okay because hoodies have been mentioned in Jannah but don't make things wrong for yourself but what I'm trying to say to you is the shaitan, if you have a mind that remembers your enemy that he's around you, then you're going to be scared of it. Otherwise, you just carry on doing what you're, what you're doing. Now remember here, Allah said the leaders and the subordinates both will go. None of them can blame each other. In fact, some of them will say, give them, the subordinates will say, give our leaders double the punishment. Give them du'fan min adab in nar. This is in Surah Al-A'raf. نور على مر الزمان تألقا وأضاء للدنيا طريقا مشرقا وهدى من الرحمن يهدينا به للصالحات وللمكارم والتقى